Hi, today we're talking about some things that new RV owners may not realize. If you just bought an RV, you probably have a lot of information coming at you from all different directions, and it's hard to figure out what to prioritize before you hit the road. So here are some tips so that you have a successful first RV trip. The first tip is to go on a shakedown trip. That's when you take your RV on a camping trip in a nearby, comfortable, familiar area. That way you can put your RV through all of its paces and make sure everything works and you can always run home if you need to. On your shakedown trip, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you book a full hookup RV spot. That way you can test out all of the plumbing, electrical, test out all of the appliances, and also check for leaks. Try to book a nice big pull-through site so it's easy to park your rig, and avoid driving at night until you get used to driving your RV. Don't forget to bring your water hose and your sewer hose to make sure all of the plumbing works. For your electrical system, it's recommended that you use a surge protector. That way you can protect your RV from any power surges. And make sure to fill up your propane tanks. That way you can test out your stove, your oven, your water heater, and your furnace. A shakedown trip is also a good opportunity to practice stowing your items inside your RV. That way you, you realize what's gonna shift around and what could get damaged in your travels. We'll talk about how to set up camp in detail in a different video, but here are three things that you want to do when you pull into your RV spot. Before you get too settled, make sure your RV hookups will reach the utilities. Also, make sure your slide outs and your awning have room to extend without hitting any obstructions. And finally, make sure your RV is level side to side and use leveling blocks if you need to. Now you're free to chalk your wheels and unhook and proceed with your regular routine. The next tip is to think about maintenance before you hit the road. It may surprise you to find that a lot of repair techs and dealerships book up well in advance. There are multiple different ways that you can RV. You can have all the full hookups and amenities, or you can be boondocking out in the wilderness with no one around. There are RV parks, resorts, national parks, state parks, city parks, Corps of Engineer Parks, National Forests, even places like casinos, golf courses, breweries, wineries. Um, lots of places have RV parks now, so you can try them all out and see which one is the best for you and your family. Probably the most important question that you want to ask yourself is whether or not you want to have hookups and all the amenities or boondocking, also known as dry camping. If you do choose to boondock, here are some tips. You're gonna to need to fill up your fresh water tank, but make sure you do it at your destination, or if they don't have water, do it very near your destination. That way you're not driving down the highway with a full fresh water tank and all that extra weight. Also, find out if your campground has bathhouses. That way you can take a shower in there instead of filling up your gray water tank inside your RV. When your RV isn't connected to power or generator, all of your electrical outlets will not work, and neither will your air conditioner. Uh, that catches uh, some new RVers by surprise. So when you're boondocking, the only electrical items that will work are the ones that are connected to your 12 volt battery circuit, such as your interior lights and your awning. The refrigerator will work off of propane in most RV models. Also, find out if your campground has a dump station. Um, if not, make sure there's one nearby, that way you can dump your tanks before you hit the road again not carrying all that extra weight down the highway. The next tip is make sure you book your campgrounds well in advance, especially if you're going to a popular area, such as a national park or a beach during the summertime, they can fill up really fast. If you have pets, especially dogs, make sure you check the campground pet policies whenever you travel, that way you make sure all of your furry friends are welcome and you can take your dog on a walk. Some campgrounds are pet friendly, but not for certain breeds, so Make sure you do your research before you arrive. Also think about whether or not you need internet on your camping trip. For some folks, their smartphone is enough. Other people prefer to have a Starlink satellite dish or hotspot. If you plan to store your RV for the winter, make sure to disconnect your battery and do all of your winterization maintenance before the freezing temperatures arrive. If you prefer to have all that maintenance done professionally, make sure to schedule an appointment at your service center before it gets too cold. Well, I hope those tips helped you out and gave you some things to think about. Don't forget to go to roadpass.com and check out all of their RV related apps and services such as Campendium, Togo RV, and Road Trippers. Till next time.